this call. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, my name is Pauline, and uh, happy, happy Easter. We thank you so much for joining us, all of you. We bless you in the name of Jesus. Uh, we thank you so much for taking your time to come and join us. Uh, as we are here, um, uh today let's start with the word of prayer right now as we start the the program let's pray dear heavenly father we come before you we thank you dear mighty god for what you are doing in our lives oh dear father we ask you to please forgive us all our sins which you have done knowing and knowingly we ask you to please be with us oh dear father from the beginning even at the end oh dear father because we know father as you say that well two or three are gathered in your name you'll be in the midst of them thank you jesus for being in the midst of us thank you father for being here with us oh dear father father we commit all the all the ministers of today we commit all the hearers of today we commit everything that we do in this platform in your mighty hand because we know this platform is not ours oh dear father but it's yours father we are just stewards of your name oh dear father in jesus name in jesus name father we thank you and we magnify your name and it's in jesus name we pray and believe amen our father who art in heaven Holy be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on others in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, and forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy the kingdom, power, the glory are yours now forevermore. Amen. The kingdom of Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. The program of today will be Pastor Peter, who is going to start the preaching for us. Then we are going to have uh, Matteo uh, for uh, baptism of the Holy Spirit. And if he's not going to have joined us by then, uh, I will step in for that. Then uh, then we have scheduled uh, Apostle Salim for Holy, uh, Holy Communion. And uh, also if he is not able to join us, we will have uh, Pastor Peter to to stand for that part then uh, let's just uh, begin this um this uh prayer meeting with the preaching that is being led by pastor peter you're welcome well thank you thank you so much uh, for giving me this wonderful opportunity uh to feed the flock of god and we are going to go to the book of jude um Jude uh, 3, uh, the verse 3, we will read only verse 3. <clears throat> and it reads like this in the King James Version. Beloved, when I give all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should honestly contend for the faith which was once delivered to the saints that we should honestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. God wants us to restore that faith, the faith that was once delivered to the saints. See, let's see what, let's see what they did. Let's see what they did. The faith that, uh, uh, now, they were all in the upper room in one accord. They were all in one accord. For 10 days, they had been told not to go and preach. They had been told not to go, not to do anything else, not to go back fishing, not to, not to do anything else, but to go and wait. Tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem. Remember what he had, he had told them at the beginning: the repentance and remission of sins must be preached to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. But tarry ye in the city Remember of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. And when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you shall receive power and it shall be witnesses for me in Jerusalem, Samaria, Judea, and to the uttermost. And so they went there. See, now let's see what they did. They were all in one accord in, in the upper room, all of them. And the Holy Ghost met them there. It met them. A bunch of little cowards. Remember this, uh, they, they were hiding. They were hiding because their leader had already been crucified. Their leader had been crucified, had died, had been buried, and had resurrected 
right? And had ascended. So now, these uh, same crucifiers that the Pharisees, Sadducees, or uh, those groupings, the denominations of that day, denominations are not, are not of God. They are of the devil. Denominations, you see them. They are the ones which crucified. They couldn't even recognize who he was. Now, uh, the Holy Ghost made them that bunch of little cowards. They were cowards. They were crouching there. They were silently waiting in that in that storage room. All right, they were they were there. Now they got life and went through windows and doors out into this into the truth because they they uh, as we were doing the first day, the second day, the third day, they were still waiting because he had told them to wait until you are endued with power from on high. So they were, they were honestly they, they were really waiting. They didn't know whether it would be one day or two days or how many, and they, there was no food there. So they were actually fasting. They didn't have any food to eat. God made sure that at least they fast for those 10 days. No, no drinking, no eating, nothing. They were just there. All of them, all the, the 11 apostles plus the women, even the women who are there, Mary the mother of Jesus, Mary the mother of John, Mary Magdalene was also, Joanne was there, Salome and, and all the others, Martha and, 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 um, and Mary and all those, they were there. Now, they got life. Uh, suddenly, they heard a sound from heaven as of a rushing with the wind. It filled the whole house where they were seated. And cloven tongues as of fire rested on each one of them. And they started speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gave them a chance. And they got life. That little bunch of cowards who were cro crouching in the, in the storage room. Remember, it was in the upper room and down, down there, in the city in, that is in the temple of Jerusalem, there was a lot of slaughtering of goats and cattle and all that. A lot of slaughtering and going on and eating. See, they were celebrating. There were two types of celebration. There was one down there, the regular the one, that's the, the normal one, all right? People just eating and, and drinking and all that. Say it was a Pentecost. It was a big, big day, all right? Um, and then um, and then the, in the upper room, there was another one. And they didn't know there was another one in the upper room, all right? They got life when the Holy Spirit came upon them and went through windows and doors out into the, into the streets. They acted like a bunch of maniacs. You see what, hap what happens when the, the Holy Ghost comes upon you? It may not be for exactly this way, but it could be something uh, very close to that. See, went through windows and doors into the streets. They acted like a bunch of maniacs. They staggered, screamed, and hollered like, like, like a bunch of drunk people. Uh, and Pharisees who are there, Pharisees didn't know. Remember, leaders, doctors of the law, they didn't know what was happening. They didn't know what had come upon these people. The Pharisees said, these ones are drunk. You see how the denominations of the day, how, how wrong they can be. They said, these, these ones are drunk. They, and you know, the Blessed Virgin Mary was in there too, the Mary, the mother of Jesus. She was there in the upper room with, with, the, with the other apostles. See, And if God, if God Almighty, required blessed virgin mary and wouldn't let her come to heaven he wouldn't let her come to heaven till she got the experience the experience of the baptism of the holy ghost then how are you going to get there anything short of it how are we gonna get there if god required his own his own his own mother that she had to be in the upper room to receive the baptism of the holy ghost all right with the others then how, how are we gonna how are we gonna make it if we don't have it, you see how crucial it is. Today, I'm not preaching about the baptism. It just it just happens to be that we are just honestly contending for the faith. That's why that's why you find Jude coming up and saying we should honestly contend for the faith which was once delivered to the saints, right? Which was once delivered delivered to the saints. That's the kind of faith that we should have. The faith where you are already baptized with the holy ghost and now you become one in christ one with christ because christ jesus comes and enters within you he enters now you have him inside of you the king of kings the lord of Lords. you become one with god you become like an extension of the lord jesus christ you start acting like christ you, you become christ-like see that's what to me to be a christian means you become exactly like him when you try to talk you end up speaking like him when you are you try to preach you preach like him when you try to walk in fact they were even walking like him because when they feel the man at the gate called beautiful, they look at them and they say, who are these? These are just mere fishermen. But they took notice. They were ignorant and learned, ignorant and unlearned. But they took note that they had been with Jesus. Because everything they were doing, they were doing like him. 
Even the healing of that man called uh, at the gate called Beautiful, they did it because the, it is Christ in them that was doing it. Everything they were doing, it was Christ in them that was actually doing. See, and we see this week. Now, this is why Jude comes and says, this is the kind of faith that we should honestly contend for. See, he says we should honestly contend for the faith which was once and for all delivered to the saints. That is the one. It's the real one. See, that's the faith that he gave them. He gave them, uh, and that's what we should, uh, we should, we should do everything we know how to do. We should fast and pray and do everything uh, until we make sure that we get it. Because without it, we're not going to make it. That's what he makes. He says it. Except you're born of the Spirit of God, you shall not enter into the kingdom of God. You shall not see the kingdom of God. You shall not inherit the kingdom of God. That's what he told Nicodemus. All right. He, he, there is no other way provided. That's the way. And that's what somewhere else he says, straight is the gate, narrow is the way that leadeth unto life eternal. And few there be that will make it. Very few. Only a small number. It's like we have to squeeze ourselves in uh, to, to make it to, the, to, life, to life eternal. You see now? And one way of squeezing it is to make sure that we get it. Once you get it, then we are all set. Then we are good. Now you know you are, you are now on the journey. Otherwise, if you are not, then you are not on the journey. And that's why we, we those people who go to heaven and come back, the Lord takes quite a number of people nowadays. They go, he takes them to, uh, to heaven, he shows them around, then he takes them to hell. And then once they arrive in hell, they see people who are pastors, who are apostles, who are what? And they ask, why, what, these people, what are they doing here? <clears throat> they shouldn't be doing, they should be here. They shouldn't be here in hell. They should be up, up there in heaven. What are they doing here? They were told, well, but they, they did not they did not receive, they did not receive the Holy Ghost, they did not receive me, they don't have me in them. So they were just they just accept the Lord Jesus Christ, their personal savior, and that's it. And they didn't do anything else. They didn't go all the way. They started the journey, but they didn't go all the way. So that became that became the actual problem that they, they were experiencing. They, that's why they came to the wrong place. And it's really a disgrace because the the the, the drunkard is not gonna be disappointed. See, they, even the prostitute in the industry is not going to be disappointed on that day. Those are not; they know where they are going. The thieves, the, the, the others, uh, uh, they, they're not going to be disappointed. But but the disappointment will be that man or woman <clears throat> who knows that he was saved. See, that will be the disappointment because he thought he thought he's going to heaven. All along, he's been telling people, "Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm going to heaven." Right. Little Tine know that there's the, something very, it's there, it's there in the whole Bible from Genesis to, to Revelation, see, but people choose to ignore it, and then the disappointment comes, see, so we should do everything we know how to do to make sure that we get it. Uh, for now, we shall reach there, and we could say if there is anyone amongst you, or anyone either online or, or right there who has not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as personal Savior, just raise your hand, wherever we are, and you say after me, Lord Jesus. I have had your message today and I've made my eternal decision. I have chosen to follow you. I'm coming to you now. I am honestly requesting you to forgive me of all my sins. Wash me without shed blood. Make me righteous and holy in our presence. And from today, I will follow you until you give me eternal life. Write, uh, write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life and delete my name in the Book of Condemnation. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we'll go that far. Uh, now, the one that follows is Meteo to lead us with the teachings, far more teachings about the baptism of the Holy Ghost and how crucial it is for you to receive it. Um, Mateo, please. Thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are around the group. First of all, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We do not take it for granted. And also, I want to say thank you for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. I do not take it for granted as I love to share on the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The origins of the whole, it's interesting that in the Old Testament, uh, that there was some revelation sort of in the Holy Spirit, but it didn't fully come in the fullness of it till the New Testament because Jesus revealed the Holy Spirit 
uh, as he did in the first chapter of Acts. This is after he was crucified and read and rose from the dead after three days. And the next step after after spending time with the disciples, because he knew his time was coming to sit at the right hand of the Father. It, starting in Acts uh, chapter uh, 1, I'll read it from uh, first of all, the, the Passion Translation. It says, to Theophilus, the lover of God, I write to you again, my dear friend, to give you further details about the life of our Lord Jesus and all the things that he did and taught. Just before he ascended into heaven, he left instructions for the apostles he had chosen by the Holy Spirit. After the sufferings of his cross, Jesus appeared alive many times to the same apostles over a 40-day period. Jesus proved to them with many convincing signs that he had been resurrected. During these encounters, he taught them the truth of God's kingdom realm and shared meals with them. Jesus instructed them, don't leave Jerusalem, but wait here until you receive the gift you told, I told you about, the gift the Father has promised, for John baptized you in water. But in a few days from now, you will be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Every time they were gathered together, they asked Jesus, Lord, is it the time now for you to free Israel and restore our kingdom? He answered, the Father is the one who sets the fixed dates and the times of their fulfillment. You are not permitted to know the timing of all that. He has promised, he has prepared by his own authority. But I promise you this, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and you will be seized with power. And you will be my messengers to Jerusalem, throughout Judea, the distant provinces, even to the remotest places on earth. Right after he spoke these words, his disciples saw Jesus lifted into the sky and disappear into a cloud. As they shared, stared into the sky, watching Jesus ascend, two men in white robes suddenly appeared beside them. They told the startling disciples, Galileans, why are you staring up into the sky? Jesus has been taken from you to heaven, but he will come back the same way that you saw him ascend. Now from the New Living Translation. In my first book, I told you, Theophilus, but everything Jesus began to do and teach until the day he was taken up to a heaven after giving his chosen apostles further instructions through the Holy Spirit. During the 40 days after he suffered and died, he appeared to the apostles from time to time and he proved to them in many ways that he was actually alive and he talked to them about the kingdom of God. Once when he was eating with them, he commanded them to not leave Jerusalem till the Father sent you the gift he promised, as I told you before. John baptized with water, but in just a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when the apostles were with Jesus, they kept asking him, Lord, has the time come for you to free Israel and restore our kingdom? He replied, the Father alone has the authority to set those dates and times, and they are not for you to know. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere, Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, to the ends of the earth. After saying this, he was taken up into a cloud while they were watching. They could no longer see him. As they strained to see him rising to heaven, two white-robed men suddenly stood among them. Men of Galilee, they said, why are you standing here staring to heaven? Jesus has been taken from you to heaven, but someday he will return from heaven the same way you saw him go. Now from the King James Version, the former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach, until the day in which he was taken up after he, through the Holy Ghost, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, Ye have heard of me, for John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days hence. When they therefore would come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said to them, It is not 
for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power. But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and all Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus which is taken from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. And when I say the conclusion with all the translations is that Jesus wanted his disciples to be patient. He told them, do not leave Jerusalem. Basically, do not leave Jerusalem because I, because I promised you that the Comforter, the Counselor, everything, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and you will receive power. Your baptism, the baptism of the Holy Spirit is much stronger than the baptism of John the Baptist. Yes, there was part of John the Baptist that was powerful, but this was supernatural. That is a great reminder to remember that we should always be thankful for the baptism of the Holy Spirit and, and how its origins and how it got started. And just remembering that the Holy Spirit is always with us. Pastor Peter, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mateo, for that word of um, <clears throat> I'm showing how crucial it is to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Uh, we're so grateful about that. And now the next session that is coming is uh, is that of the uh, the, uh, the Holy Communion, that is the Lord's table. So if you happen to be, um, you need to have at least a little, some little bread, a little cookie, a bit good, and also uh, you can have uh, some little juice. Um, or water, whatever kind of juice you have, or water or whatever, and then we can celebrate uh, the, 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 that's the Lord's table in commemoration of his death, of our Lord Jesus Christ's death, burial, and resurrection. So to be to lead us in this is none other than Apostle Salim from Mombasa, Kenya. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Salim. Yes, please. I'm uh, Apostle Salim from Mombasa, Kenya. I'm, uh, I come from the JPA Church, which is in Bamburi, Kisauni, sub county. And um, we normally have our services on, on Sunday from 10, uh, from 10 up to 10.30, that is teachings. And from 10.30 to 12.30, that is the main service. Now, today I want us to go uh, to take the Lord's table. And uh, as you know, we have to share the word of God before taking the Lord's table. Let us bow down our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you that God has given us this opportunity that we may share the Lord's table. I pray the Lord as I... Uh, as I share this word and, and, and as we take the Lord's table, you are going to help us, you are going to guide us. And God, as we come to the end of this session, we shall give you praise. We thank you, we bless you and honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to read from the book of John chapter 6 and verses, um, verses 48, um, sorry, 49. It says, verse 49 of John chapter 6, Your fathers did eat manna in the, in the wilderness and are dead. Jesus say, I mean, uh, Jesus is telling his disciples that their fathers, they ate manna from heaven. But after taking this manna, they died. But Jesus now promises that he himself is the bread of life. 
and that whoever takes that bread he will not die but he will live forever so sometimes we we look at the lost table and uh, we just take it very simple but this lost table it is giving you access to eternal life but the bible says those who ate the manna in the desert because the manna was not given giving eternal life they died after some time but for us who are taking the lord's table taking the the flesh and the blood of jesus the bible tells us that we will not die but we will live forever this is a promise that has been made by jesus himself he says i am the bread of life that is verse 18. i am the bread of life and whoever eats it, he will not die, but will live forever. So we are taking something that is very important in our lives. That's why it is very important that we take the Lord's table always, as the Bible uh, commands us to do so. And as we take the Lord's table, uh, the condition is that you must examine yourself and then after that you can take it. So I'm going to give you two minutes. Just examine yourself. Check your life and see where there is a challenge in your life and ask God to forgive you. And then after that we shall take the Lord's table. After praying for the, for the bread and praying for the cup. As my brother Peter said, I, I believe you have prepared your cup and you prepared your bread. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you because of this bread. We thank you because of this juice. We ask you, the dear Father, may you bless it even as you take it. Lord, I ask you that you forgive me, sanctify me. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. Whatever, Lord, I have done, either through my mind, either through my mouth, I've spoken something that are, some things that are ungodly. I ask you, Jesus, may you forgive me. The sins I can remember, the sins that I cannot remember. I ask the Lord, may you forgive me. And as I take the Lord's table, let me be accepted before you. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray. Amen. Uh, you can now, um, I have with me here my cup. I have with me my cup here. I have with me my bread. This is the bread that I have. Uh, my the video is not visible so you can now take let us take the bread prayerfully let us take the ju the the cup prayerfully Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for this cup. We thank you for this bread that you have given us. We pray the Lord, as I partake of it, O God, let peace be upon our lives in Jesus' name. Let grace be upon our lives in Jesus' name. Let healing of our bodies and our spirits be upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Any sickness, any spirit of bondage i break it in the name of jesus lord and friend the lord will bring healing in our bodies and in our spirit in jesus name we pray and believe amen 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 god bless you pastor peter you can continue from there uh thank you so much for that um, uh, session of the lord's table and i believe now we have uh, already 
uh, been strengthened. We have taken the, uh, the, the bread and the wine uh, and we have been taught. And so we are good. Now, what the session that we are in now is the testimonies where we talk about the Lord Jesus Christ's goodness. Um, so whoever can, uh, is ready can uh, just take the stand. You can raise your hand and then uh, I'll give you a chance and then you can talk about uh, the goodness of God in your life. Whoever is ready. Uh, you can do that. Uh, for me, I don't even know what, what to say. I, I'm so happy. Um, sometime back, I, I could just lay in bed and, and there was no sleep would come. I would be just there the whole night. No sleep comes. And then in the morning, uh, probably I'm going to, uh, to my place of work and I'm groggy, I'm drowsy and dizzy. And I end up having a very bad day went on day after day after day sometimes i would try a little medication i know when you take those sleep medications they have an, an effect they, they have an effect that goes up the following day ah it was so bad but of late once uh, for as long as i remain in this post of duty uh, where we are we are in this business of the lord jesus christ he's, he's kind of taken care of all of it he's taken all of it now just jumping in the bed i don't even wait the sleep just comes and smokes and smokes completely. Ah, and I, and I, in the morning, I feel so good. I feel so refreshed. Ah, I need to undertake the activities of the day. And uh, that's my testimony for today. And I'm giving him all the glory and all the honor. Because he's a good God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Do we have another, another one with a testimony, please? Regardless of how little, how much he has done, you cannot count your blessings. There are so many. Uh, uh, anybody? Anybody? Whoever is ready, just come on. Dorica, you have something from. Oh, before 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 Dorica comes on, let's hear from Apostle uh, Salim from Mabasa, Kenya, please. Praise the Lord, brethren. I'm Apostle Salim from Kenya. Uh, Mombasa. I want to thank God because of this day. It has been a wonderful day. God has given me a lot of peace. I I I shared with my the, the congregation that I was going to have a we were going to have a an eye-opening Passover service. And we started from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday. Uh, today we were we are winding up and i thank god uh, we had a wonderful time today the church was packed many people came to the church today and i thank god because of what he has done god gave me a message about uh, uh, the peter's three times denial of jesus and the reasons why peter denied jesus three times he was a great man of God, but because of the challenges that he went through, he had to, uh, to, to cheat because of his safety. So that was I was sharing that as Christians, sometimes we cheat because of the challenges we are undergoing. But what is important is that after Peter realized that what he had done was evil, he turned to Jesus and ask for permission for for forgiveness so i thank god because of this uh, this day and the day that has been so good we had um, uh, um, a leadership meeting and god has been with us god bless you so much okay i i see oh th thank you so much uh, pastor salim uh, that was good that was good uh, yeah the, that's the that's the truth that you so cowardly at that time because now these same crucifiers were, were right there and if, if you would have agreed that is one of them uh probably you, he would have also been taken to the gallows say but the same man i wish you mentioned to them the same man that see the transformation he goes through after uh, after what what happens in the upper room the same man becomes so courageous so powerful see something happened to him after he received the, yeah. uh, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I hope you mentioned that to them <laughs> anyway. You want to say something? No, I just want to, 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 to support. You're cutting, you're cutting, cutting. 
I want you to support what you are saying. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that that's true. That it happens when you are when you don't have him inside of you. You are kind of a coward. <laughs> Once he comes in, you become like the lion. You remember he's the lion of tribe of Judah, right? Yes, we know he is also the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world at some other time, all right? <laughs> and he was also likened to, the, to, to that snake in the, the brass serpent in the wilderness when I look and leave. All right, uh, that's so much. Let, let's not go there. Let's have another person uh, with a testimony. Uh, Dorica, you are ready over there? I don't know whether it's Zambia. Uh, okay, it's not, it's not, yeah. Uh, Hannah, Hannah, you ready there? Remember, if you are, he said somewhere, if you are ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you before my father and the holy angels. If you confess me, I'll confess your name before my father. And the holy angels. Now you are the one to choose whether you have to confess him or you have to be ashamed of him. All right. Yeah. Just say something, something good about him. He's waiting. He's watching and waiting, and he's not far. He's just a prayer away. People think that he is just there in heaven. Yeah. Not anywhere close. He's the closest you can imagine. So let's have somebody to testify. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Ruth. Ruth Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Ruth Mbuga. I'm based in Eldoret uh, in Kenya. And I have noticed a great shift in, um, in my prayer. I find my prayer life has really, you know, like has really improved greatly. I find myself praying in tongues while I'm walking. I find a situation that looks very small, sm you know, like it doesn't look that big, but on the road, I find myself just praying for the person in tongues. You know, uh, maybe some passerby might think I'm crazy. You know, my lips are moving <laughs> and I don't have earphones, but I really don't care. I just feel amazing that the shift in my prayer life has, has made me feel so closer to God and like, we are walking with him and, you know, like telling me, look at that, pray over that. Turn the other side, look at this, pray over that. So I really love this moment and I feel so refreshed in that shift in prayer. That is so good to hear that. <laughs> that's wonderful. That's exactly what I was told to do. See, that's exactly the message that even as you're walking around, just go praying. Just go praying, praying for people instead of condemning. You know the way you're walking around, you see somebody dressed badly, he's almost naked, he's showing the boobs, he's showing the down there. Uh, you wonder, and they, something in you starts condemning. Why is this person just showing the naked inside it? Instead of that, just pray for that person. Just pray for ah, uh, it's so good. You go just pray. and again, you've been given tongues. You've been given the, the gift of tongues. Ruth? Yes, yes. Oh my, that's good. And later on, he'll give you the interpretation of times. At the fa at first, you they, you may they may come just very few or just a little bit of it. You're kind of re repeating yourself over and over and over. Then they keep on increasing. They keep on increasing. See, now you can go on and on. You can go on and on. You are you are unstoppable now. See? As you would just keep on going to the uh, deep into the things of God. Uh, I'm glad that your prayer life has been rejuvenated and. Ah, it is getting even better. That was so good. I wish you can tell the ones who are closer to you that they too may get something from God. And we thank him so much. We give him all the glory and all the honor for what he's done for you. Uh, do we have another pastor, another brother, another sister uh, to come up and um, brag about the Lord Jesus Christ? Hannah, are you ready over there? Do you have something for the Lord? Oh, there's Joanne. Joanne, you have something to brag about the Lord Jesus Christ? Oh, not, not today, but I would say I'm thankful. Yeah. I think for my, oh, I, I think for my, I'll say, I'll give a testimony for my sister. Yeah. What about your sister? 
Uh, my sister was once depressed, very sad. My sister was had a home where she she had a home that she hosted like the old people, you know, a residential home. Okay, okay. The people who are weary, people who didn't have anything to have. And then one day my sister was sad. Really, she cried to God. Yeah. And I I remember crying with my sister. I remember feeling her soul in my soul. Wow. Seriously, that feeling still resides in me up to today. Because she owned this home, I cried. I told God, please, let's tell my sister. Yeah. And one day, I didn't know what to do for my sister. Yeah. I, and I, I remember God's intervention. God showing his face onto all of us because when my sister cried, I cried. And up to today, I feel the grace of God and I feel the grace of God not flowing only between her and I feel the grace of God flowing within our family. Not, not because that I, I, I don't know. I felt the sweetness of God. I felt that I was so close to my sister, but my, I felt my sister at peace and I felt myself at peace. But my testimony was that I felt that I was crying, but she stopped crying. And I also stopped crying. I don't know if it makes sense, but no, yeah, it is making it's making sense. Did God did the Lord Jesus Christ intervene in her situation? Yes, yeah, she did intervene in her situation because what the, her cause the story was she was set out to do the, a good cause in her life. She had this massive dream. And I stood by her side. We all, she said, please, this is not my dream. This is our dream. She kept on saying over and over, this is not my dream, this is our dream. But when the dream was shut down, I don't know what happened that the face of God was bright than, I, I don't know, I, I don't know. I can't even, I can't even explain it. Because we cried with her, we we mourned with her when the dream was shut down. But when when the rising, you know, when 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 like like the way they say that stop down the when the when Jesus was was crucified on the I'm still talking about the selection when Alex the selection comes to pass, like when. A rose is being stamped out on the ground, and there is a selection, and there is a glory of God that can shine. There was a glory that was shown that I can't even because she was my little sister. I, <laughs> I don't know. I have no words. No words. So where was she based? Where? where, where she where? was based. Well, she, she, was based, she lives in you you America. Uh, which which state? She was in a, she was in a Maryland. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, so, it, so even that place, they also this business of of having residence in the, uh, I mean, uh, care care homes of that kind. Is that the one you're talking about? I think she's she's gone. She's lost. I don't know. Anyway, we give her the glory. She says the Lord Jesus Christ intervened in her situation, and that's all that matters. He has all the answers that you're looking for. Any kind, whatever kind of situation that comes our way, we just commit it unto Him meaningfully. We, we, like like we mean it, and we pray and pray and pray. And if you are, if you need help, you can always go either to your pastor or some uh, person like that and. 
uh, committed unto him because he, he, that he wants us to depend on him. He wants to be fully and totally dependent on him. You see now, he wants to be, he wants us to be like sheep. See, like uh, sheep has to, uh, once it is in the field, it cannot even know its way back home. See, it has to depend, it depends on the shepherd. It will just stand there until some wolf comes and eat uh, and mauls on it. See, he wants us to depend on him fully. So the problem is us. We are the we are the problem. Instead of depending him, we want to lead ourselves, and so we try to lead ourselves. We get into the ditch, and that's where we cry from the ditch. See, uh, any other testament that was uh, that was a good one. Uh, it was a really heart rending. It happens those disappointments when you have your dream shattered just like that, and it's kind of tough. All right, uh, Pastor Salim, you have some uh, something additional. I can see your yeah, hand my, up. Yeah, my wife is going to testify. Yeah? Say your name or your name. Ikota. What? Okay, fine. My, my name's uh, Prudence Randu, the wife to Reverend Randu. Yeah. I thank God for his goodness in my life. Where are you? I'm in Mombasa. Yeah, God is so good in my life. Uh, on Sunday, the other week, I was in church. After service, I was just outside, very much happy, having been blessed in the in the church service. And when I was just standing there, enjoying myself, somebody came and gave me fish of around 200 shillings. Then he told me, Mama Reverend, that will be your, your supper. Hey, I said, hey, glory to God. Uh, as I was continuing meditating on the goodness of the Lord, another one came and said, Mama, Reverend, hey, I can see your hair. Your hair is good. Now, when you have finished, when, when that hair is, is done, you come, I plate, for, I plate you. Hey, then I said, hey, my God, you are so good. You are doing so many things for me. I, I was just happy that week. Then, in, in the course of the week, uh, a lady whom we had fellowshiped with a long time ago, around 20 years back, remembered us and came to our home. He brought us, she brought us a lot of food, nini wheat flour, sugar, milk. I, then I was saying, hey God, you are so good to us. Hey, you are so good. I don't know. I, I was so happy. Then the same, same week in the evening, my parents rang to me and then they told me, we want to share with you, oh, God, you are so good. So I'm seeing God to be so good in my life. I don't know what is next. I'm expecting more and more blessings because of his goodness. I thank, I thank God so much because he's so real in my life. God bless you so much. We, we got, we, we got cut, I cut give a little all bit. the glory and honor to God for his goodness. Yeah, we, you got cut off a little bit when, when your parents came. What did they, what did they say? She's gone. Oh my. I'm saying my parents, they're the same, same week, got a lot of money. Then they 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 ran to me and then they told me, You want to share the money that we've got with you. So they they gave me through my phone. I was so happy. Say I hey, got. Wow, that's a lot of blessings. Blessings, blessings following me. Wow. That, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Become, that was so wonderful. You become an attraction. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Uh, we give all the gl glory to the Lord Jesus Christ and his goodness. Wow. That's so nice. Um, any other testimony? The Lord Jesus Christ is still waiting for, for your testimony. He's not he's not tired. He's still hanging in, waiting on you to say something. He knows what he has done for you. He knows the many things he's done for you. And he wants you to testify about it. Uh, wherever you are. Anna, you have something over there? Oh, we have Jeanette. She called. Go ahead. Uh, please God, everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening. Sorry, sorry about that. So, I have 
my uh, testimony. So when I was uh, when I was admitting my resident, there is um, a document we need to apply for. Um, it's called a waiver. A waiver is for any testings that you do in your facility, be it COVID, be it blood testing, and be it the, the litmus urine tests for 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 um, urinary tract infections. Because the lady, uh, the resident that I received when I did the assessment, um, she was she, at the hospital. She was insulin dependent. So for, for us to test the blood sugar so we can give her the insulin, we had to apply for that waiver. And it's, um, it costs around $300 and it takes around a couple of weeks to process from the Department of, uh, the State Department of Health. Um, and I went ahead and filled up the form and I sent it out before she got here. So at least I will start processing it because I could, I could just, you know, wait for a couple of weeks for it to be processed. But um, for some reason, when I got the discharge papers and the discharge medication list, the insulin and uh, the diabetes had been discontinued. And um, I was so excited about that because I was worried how long it is, it's going to take before any um, sitting staff for um, You got lost, Shiko. You know? Maybe she's having some issues with her, her network. Oh my. Uh, I think it's the network. She will come back. Ah, okay, she's back. She go go ahead. Oh, sorry, sorry, I got kicked out. <laughs> so, like I was saying, um, I, I was, you know, I was, you know, juggling over there, but. The, the, the discharge paper schemas that were, had been discontinued. So uh, the reason was that her diabetes presented itself when she had the fall before she went to the hospital. So uh, like um, I said, God will break protocol for you to bless you. Just like um, he offered, he, he made it possible for me to take a class within five months, which is required to be a year after. And I'm grateful for that. That was um, a blessing that he gave me that I really don't have to worry about the waiver. So I'm just gonna let the waiver process, get processed at its speed. It's not in a rush. I don't require it impromptu or currently, but in the future I will. But the thing is, um, God broke the, broke the protocol for me over there and blessed me and she came without the insulin um, testing. In admission. So, are, are, are you telling us that that waiver is a document that you should have in advance before you do the admissions or for uh, patients who might need the, those kind of testing? So, yes, it's a new it's a new document. They it's a new document. They say that now we require, and it was enforced, I think, towards last year that. Um, you um if you have this kind of testings you need to have that document in the house so um it's 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 kind of a precarious situation because you don't know what kind of a person you might get or some people do turn diabetic while well, they're already existing in your place or covid shows up from nowhere in your house I mean, COVID is not going to give you a sign. I'll be on my way, get the way, get the waiver. But they put it as a requirement, which it's kind of, you know, putting a real pressure on us because for those who don't have diabetes uh, testing, they think, I don't need this because I don't have people who are on insulin. But they put in a bracket where you, if you're doing any sort of testing, diabetes, COVID, and, and uh, UTI, UTI is also, they just show up. They don't have a specific way of showing up. 
so yeah, that the document, and if you're admitting, it's on a safer side to have one. I didn't know she was on insulin until I went to do assessment and she says she liked me and she wanted to come where I am. So I had to apply for it and hope that it comes soon. <laughs> but and God now, did a miracle. And now the she, she was, so she was testing in the hospital that she had, uh, she had, she had gone for an appointment and then they found she doesn't need even, she's not insulin dependent anymore. She had fell at home and then she got admitted at the hospital. So yeah. the diabetes presented itself when she got admitted. Yeah. So it's a it's a hospital protocol um, to start to start you know insulin regardless. It's something they always do. But yeah. um, I did ask, is she gonna get discharged with the insulin? And the nurse and the social worker told me yes. But on the discharge day, the doctor decided you know she, her her numbers are okay. She doesn't need the insulin, so she's not gonna be insulin dependent. They did not call me to tell me that, but they just sent me the paperwork and I saw that. Then I called and I was told that, yeah, she does not need that. And I was like, oh, praise God. I don't have to worry about it. God has done a miracle for me again. Okay. But she, she, yeah, that's good. She, so she also takes these other, um, uh, the pills, the metformin. No, she doesn't take any. She I guess it was, no, I guess it was, it, man, it presented itself because of the UTI. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I see. You see now how the, the Lord works mysteriously. He works yeah. so good, so well. Ah, that's a that's a good, that's a miracle. That's a that's a good one. And we give God all the glory and all the honor for that. Thank you, thank you. Um, any other? I see we have a new entrant, uh, Gicho. Yeah, somebody oh, over there at the corner. Uh, do you have something to testify about the goodness of God? Gicho. Yes. Um, uh, I do have one testimony from school. Go ahead. Okay, uh, um, last semester, there was a lecturer who was particularly hard on me compared to the rest of the students. But uh, after I joined the prayers with my mom, and I was told to forgive him and just leave him alone, uh, things became better. And now we're even friends with the lecturer. He has no issue this semester. You see yes. how good that one is? That's very nice to hear that. The intervention from the Almighty God, because he went as he said with his word, uh, just exactly what he says: you should love or love our enemies, bless those who hate you, despite if they use you. See, we are not so told to, but you know that the, the other one from the devil said, "Hate the, you, hate the your your your, uh, your enemies, and that kind of thing." Now you should not hate them; just love them, just love and pray for them, and pray pray nice things for them. And you see, that's when the Lord intervenes. He comes in and changes the situation, changes things. And you find now it's just godliness uh, through and through. Oh, you're so glad to hear that. And may God be given all the glory and all the honor. Thank you. Agnes, you have something to tell us? You have something to brag about the Lord Jesus Christ? Agnes? I don't know whether she's hearing. Agnes? Uh, unmute yourself. I can see you're talking, but I, we cannot hear. Unmute. Oh my. Go on, go ahead, Agnes. Unmute yourself. Oh my, I don't know how she can, she can get it. It's the, it's the button right next to the hand button that you're raising. There you go. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. This afternoon. is Agnes. I'm calling from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Uh, uh, Pauline has been calling me every day. I said today I must try to join the service. So we thank God for the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
How is Georgia? Georgia is okay. We are fine here. Yeah, anything you want to brag about the Lord Jesus Christ and his goodness? Well, I'm just glad that I'm, I, I, I saw the Easter this year and I will continue to see many Easter's. Yeah. And though I'm in pain, but I, I know the pain will go away. Oh, so where is I the pain? My legs. Oh, your legs are uh, kind of... Uh, I have they... arthritis. arthritis. Oh. Oh, the arthritis. Oh, that one will be will be committed to the Lord. You remember, Amen. He said, "I'm the Lord who healeth all your diseases." Amen. I am the high priest of your confession, of your priest. Um, you see now. So he's uh, he's the high priest who who is touched by the feelings of our infirmities, okay? and he was wounded for our transgressions, uh. bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of his peace was upon us, upon you, and by his peace you're gonna be healed. Amen. Amen. Thanks, sir. Uh, all right. So, if there is, um, did you have anything else to say? No. Okay. Okay. All right. Any other testimony from someone else? Someone else? Yeah, Sarah, go ahead. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for um, for this day that He has made on this Easter day. I am thankful and great and grateful for this day um, of the res resurrection for our salvation. So I just wanted to say thank you and uh, also give God the glory. I have suffer suffered from allergies, um, and I know God is even doing miracles, many, many more. Uh, today I've been able to go through the at least uh, the day and even part of yesterday, um, even after we prayed, I haven't had the same issues of itchy eyes and uh, like itchy nose from the pollen, um, given that we're in the spring season, I've struggled for many years. And I'm, I know that God is going to do even many, many more things in trying to clear, in, in clearing, not trying, but clearing um, all that, all those issues that I've had with allergies. So I want, I want to just give God the glory that I, I am feeling better, actually. So it's so nice to hear that and we give God all the glory. We believe that it's gonna heal you completely from those allergies. I know how disturbing they can be. I had them one year. Just one year, not every year, and I I know how they affect the eyes. You uh, you don't know what other you just feel like uh, just kind of rubbing your eyes over and over and over. Sometimes the nose and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're very disturbing. Yeah, very it's, very disturbing and uh, very dis they're discomfort and they can last for three four months and into the spring season. But um, I'm hoping and I know that God has uh, cleared them. So okay. Yeah, that's good. That's wonderful. We give him all the glory and honor and power and majesty on high. All right. Thank you. Um, any other remaining one? Um, I don't know whether they said Joanne. Did Joanne testify? I don't know whether she did. Um, so it looks like we looks like we don't have any other any other person. Uh, we can then if we don't i think we will j just go to the prayer the prayer itself um and, and i believe that you are you are ready for it you're ready to humble yourself so that at least you can receive from him and you can you can go to higher ground you know i'm pressing on the higher ground lord lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's table land say you want to go a little higher a little higher you don't want to remain the same position you are in when you accept the Lord Jesus Christ, your, your personal Savior. You want to go a little higher and higher and higher. See, closer and closer to Him, having a closer walk with Him. See, that's the we want to move on. We want to move on. It's a it's a it's a journey. It's a journey. You can imagine just after crossing the Red Sea, they celebrated so much, uh, seeing the the Egyptians uh, some I guess some in the water and, and dead. Uh, and celebrated with Miriam there with the tambourine. <laughs> Little did they know that ahead of them was 40, 40 years in the wilderness, see, being tried and tested by the Lord Jesus Christ. All right. So it's a walking faith, and we are we are in a battle, we are in a battleground. 
That is it. So be armed, be ready for the battle with the demons, with the devils. They'll come whether you like it or not. They'll come in all ways. They'll come in the form of disease. They'll come to confuse you. They'll come because they don't want you to go to heaven. Because they, 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 the devil will not go to heaven. He knows his place is in hell and he wants to drag with him as many as possible, especially those who call themselves Christians. All right, let me not go there. Let's uh, go to the main prayer now. Uh, get somewhere where if you are in home or you are somewhere you can kneel. Uh, we are going to, to be on our knees. Remove your shoes. Uh, if you have a hat, uh, take your hat off. Uh, and then we go before the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the Creator of heaven and earth. Uh, and then we talk to him. And we are going to be led by none other than Prophet Pauline. Welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, wherever you're located. We appreciate you uh, for joining us, all of us. We are here in one accord to praise God and to thank him for what he's doing in our lives as we worship him. So today uh, I'm reminded to, to encourage each and every one of you to know who is our father. It's very important as we begin this prayer, these prayers, we are going to go boldly to the father because he says, come boldly as you are, come as you are, come as you are and come. And he says, come, let's listen, whatever it is that is bothering you. If it's disease, it's, it's a family, it's, if it's whatever, God is a well able. He's well able. But he says also that, that it's very important for us to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. It's not just uh, enough to just accept him as your personal savior. Jesus Christ, he wants you to go further than just accepting him as your personal savior. It is very important to, to know that uh, to, have, uh, to have the Holy Spirit in you is to have the power. Remember, he said that, that um, in his word, he said, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. So ask yourself, since you got bo born again, if you got born again, uh, maybe 19 Camadero, meaning 19, 19 or 1900s or 1910, however how many years you have gone, you, you, have been, you, you keep on testifying that I have been born again since ABCD. Ask yourself, after you gave your life to Christ, did you go far than just giving your life to Christ? Did you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Did you receive the, the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Did you go far and deeper? Because it's very important. Because you cannot just be walking aimlessly. Remember the Holy Spirit. It is the power that resides in you and that uh, when you gave your 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 life to to Christ you then you go seeking more in depth of this this Jesus you 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 go deep 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 by by doing what by seeking him by seeking him remember uh, there are people who says that uh, who says that is the baptism uh, of the holy spirit for everyone some people they they ask they ask that is it for everyone yes to me i would say to um god's work uh god god is power okay the baptism of the holy spirit it is for all who believe in jesus christ as their savior and the lord who are children of god through him Okay, and we can find that in Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 2, you all have the book, the Bible with you, just read it in your own Bible, Acts chapter 2, uh, verse, verse 38 uh, to 39, that, that, that this baptism was, uh, this, um, the Holy Spirit was, is for you is for you whether you are female whether you are male whether you are a child whether you are whoever do not be right to by this denomination who says it's only for male i don't even know which book they read 
I really truly don't know, and I don't know how to uh, uh, to say it because when you go to that um, Acts chapter two, in verse thirty eight, he says Peter was saying that um, uh, Peter replies, "Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus." Christ for the forgiveness of your sin and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit the promise is for you and your children for all who are far off for all who the Lord our God will call it is very important for you to read the Bible very clearly. The Bible is the word of God, is the true word of God. When God is saying that, it, that the Holy Spirit is also for you and for your children, of your children, of your children. He did not say that the, the, the Holy Spirit is for gender. It does not have gender. Remember, even Jesus Christ told, told the disciples that even when we die and we go to heaven, there is no gender in heaven. There is no gender. I don't know where in this whole wide world where they, they come to think that God, God has gender uh, and they start claiming that the Holy Spirit is only led by, by people who are, are male only. Uh, it's very important for you, all of you to know that you, you will receive. You have access of it, but you have to seek it. You have to seek it. You have to be wanting to do so. By doing what? By repenting? of all your sins there is no shortcut there is no shortcut to receiving it this and so you for you ask for forgiveness and you get it so you may ask yourself what is the the uh, the baptism of the holy spirit the baptism of the holy spirit occurs when the spirit of god comes upon a believer the holy spirit fills the believer mind with genuine understanding of the truth takes possession of the believer's ability and impacts gift that qualifies the believer for service in the body of christ so all of you here some of you maybe all of you you have gathered here in the name of jesus christ you can say that you are born again you gave your life to christ but you need to ask yourself since i believed since i gave my life to christ 50 years ago eh, did i receive the baptism of the holy spirit and if you did not receive the baptism of the holy spirit sadly i'm here to tell you you are not born again if you think i'm lying to you please kindly read the bible very clearly because to be born again is not just to say i accept my my father as my personal savior no you need the baptism of the holy spirit because through the holy spirit that is the one who uh, the, the bible says very clearly that unless you have the spirit the baptism of the holy spirit you will not see the heaven you will not see you will not even enter the heaven i'm not lying to you it is written and if i don't warn you right now then then let me tell you i am not i, I don't love you i do not love any of you if i don't teach you right now if i don't tell you right now the truth eh? i am not I, I don't love you as i claim i love you as i claim i care for you as i claim that i'm going to pray for you and and god will hear your prayer for now i am telling you the 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 promise of god for you to enter in the kingdom of god my dear you will not be able to enter without the baptism of the holy spirit it is written and is written very clearly in his word that you will need the baptism of the holy spirit not just the accepting of jesus not just saying i'm i'm born again no read your bible clearly do not let the denomination or religion mentality to, to, to corrupt your understanding. Let the Holy Spirit help you and guide you and help you understand that you will only enter this heaven. You will only enter this promise that Jesus Christ has promised. You will only enter through the baptism of the Holy Spirit. No other shortcut. Unfortunately, there is none. So before we go to the uh, to the to the uh, to the main prayer, I need all of you to understand this. This is not me telling you this. This is God wanting you to understand how the baptism of the Holy Spirit work. 
how to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, if you then being evil, how, how to give good gift to your children, how much more will you, your heavenly father, your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him. That is in Luke chapter uh, chapter 11, verse, uh, verse 13. If any of you want to check that out. So God fulfills his promises in various of ways. And uh, no two human beings are alike in how they receive the spiritual things. The New Testament tells us that some believers receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit at the moment of their convers uh, co conversion, such as the, uh, the the family in the Cornelius. Cornelius uh, in the Acts uh, in the book of uh, Acts uh, chapter ten, uh, mm -hmm. and others such as believers in Eph uh, Ephesus uh, received it later time. So we should never limit God by our own expectation. He is a sovereign God, and, and he will work in whatever ways he chooses. So do not think that uh, just the way, he, uh, you know, the time you, you are asking him to come in your, as your personal savior, he may come that time. He may baptize you at that time, like that Con uh, Cornelius family, that's, they, they all started speaking. They all started speaking in the baptism of the Holy Spirit at that time, at that accord. And then guess what? There are others who receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit after, after. But that is meaning it has to, you, you, you do have to literally be making your effort of, of repentance, repentance. So in that, I hope everybody have understood this message. Because if you did not understand it, then God's death, that is um, Jesus Christ's death, uh, it's all in vain. It's all in vain because remember, he he sent. He's the one who sent. Uh, he's the one who sent the 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 Holy Spirit. He said, "I will send another, just like me." That means he sent himself, and that's why he said that that I will do. Uh, that, that I'll say another, but so as you, 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 Shiko, you, Peter, you, Sarah, you, Agnes, you, Joyce, you, Ruth, you, everyone who is in this planet, all of you can do greater things than Jesus Christ he did. It's not that you are better than Jesus Christ. No, get that out of your mind. But it's because the one who is in you, that is Jesus Christ. That is Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit that has been baptized in you you and him are the one doing this work and greater things he's is continuing the work he began when he was here in this planet so let's go boldly to our to the throne of mercy let's go and kneel our uh, kneel if those who are able to kneel right now let them kneel if those who are able to kneel when their names are mentioned when we are doing the prayers kneel but know that we are kneeling to humble ourselves before our father who is a hey, he's well able he is the power he's 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 the one who is gonna do the healing the deliverance the miracles and wonders he alone he alone he worked through us and when we are yielded vessels if you are not yielded vessel my dear god will not work through you but if you are yielded vessel you have yielded and you and and the Holy Spirit have been abiding. You have abided in him. You have abided in him. And he ab abided in you. And let me tell you, when you abide in Jesus, when you abide in that Holy Spirit, ah, uh, nothing in this world is too big. No disease in this world can, can stress you. No, no bankrupt can stress you. No job can stress you. No one can stress you because the 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 great greater that lives in you he lives in you he's greater than what is on this world so let's go boldly to the throne of mercy claiming and declaring whatever it is that god has for you today as we celebrate his uh his uh 
uh, he, uh, today. And, you know, there are, there are people who celebrate um, Easter, Good Friday, and all those things. Uh, for me, I have no problem with all those things, celebration. But for me, I celebrate God every day. I don't have a specific month or specific day that is only the no my dear father oh jesus i celebrate him every day because he 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 was seated on his throne and he said let me just go and save my baby girl let me go and save my baby boy and he came as a as a human being a hundred percent human being and a hundred percent god and he lived among us and he came and he died for me and died for you and he 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 went to the to hell and got the key and he rose back again and went back to the throne oh why would i be praising him every day why do i need to wait for easter why do i need to wait for 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 christmas why do i have to wait for this to remember him every day is is christmas to me every day is 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 a blessing to me every day to me i'm telling you my brothers and sisters if you only wait until you have the holiday to praise him i feel sorry for you it is good to know even every day when you wake up it is a blessing for all of you it is the grace of god so let's go in front of our father and praise him and thank him and ask him whatever it is that we need but remember we have to repent because nobody in this planet is better than the other one i am not better than you and let me tell you all that make us better it is the blood of jesus christ all that make us better it is the blood of jesus christ because it's the only one in the in the word of god that says that is the sweetest aroma in front of god not by you you not go to the uh, to the market and get the best soap to wash yourself so that you can feel you can smell good or best perfume and you think that you will smell presentable in god's eyes or in god's presence my dear those things are human made they will not make you uh smell all that good but they in front of god but when you come and you kneel down and you ask god forgive me wash me with the blood of jesus christ let me tell you it's only the blood of jesus christ it's only the blood of Jesus Christ can be able to restore you, can be able to make you presentable in his sight. He is the only one. He is the, the blood of Jesus Christ is the only one. There is no other. Do not be lied to by anybody. There is only the blood of Jesus Christ. That is the smelling sweet aroma that God, when he smells it upon you, when he smells it on you, he is he's, he's triggered and he... He, he he focuses on you and he says oh that's my child who needs help and so let's all go boldly to the father and tell him to forgive us and cover us with the blood of jesus christ dear heavenly father we come before you oh lord jesus christ we thank you jesus for what you have done for us oh dear father thank you jesus oh dear father thank you jesus oh dear lord jesus christ for for giving us all our sins oh dear father for finding us worthy oh dear father thank you jesus father for availing yourself to come and die for us oh dear father all of us we are we are all sinners if we claim we have no sin then we are sinning oh dear father we ask you to forgive us oh lord jesus Christ. forgive us oh my god forgive us oh lord jesus forgive us oh my god forgive us because only you jesus can forgive us forgive us oh my god forgive us almighty god because we have sinned against you with our thoughts with our mouth with our body we have done things which are not presentable to your sight we have made ourselves far from you jesus father we ask you to forgive us grace us on your father with the blood of jesus christ Cleanse us, oh dear Father, with the blood of Jesus Christ. Cleanse us, oh dear mighty God, with the blood of Jesus Christ. Only the blood of Jesus Christ can do this, oh dear Father. Father, forgive us, oh dear Father. Cleanse us, oh dear Father. Because, Father, only you, Jesus, can do so, Father. We thank you, almighty oh God, for what you are doing, oh dear Father. Father, I present all your children, oh dear Father. Agnes, oh dear Father. Dolica. Uh, Kid, Hannah, Joyce, Peter, Ruth, Salim, Sarah, 
Shiko, all of them, Father, they gathered here with their father. They could have been doing other things. They could be occupied with other things, Father. But Father, they stopped everything to come and worship you, Father. Father, even you have said, well, two or three are gathered in your name. You've been the midst of them, oh dear Father. Each and every one of us here, oh dear Father, we are gathered, oh dear Father, to come and kill our we are gathered here in the name of Jesus Christ, knowing and trusting, Father, that we are not here to, to just join and just talk about uh, nonsense or endless things. We are here to join, to strengthen each other, to build each other. Even the ones who have given their testimony, Father, they have given their testimony to build one another, to strengthen each other. Father, I bring all those who have given their testimony, oh dear Father. My God, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ, I present those who have bragged on you, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Father, that is she called, dear Father. Sarah, oh dear Father. Salim, oh dear Father, and Salim, wife, oh dear Father. That is Peter, oh dear Father. That is uh, Agnes, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ. All those who have given their testimony, Father. Agnes, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ. Joanne, oh dear Father. Uh, Peter, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Ruth, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ. Sarah, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Janet, oh dear Father. My God, all of these who have given their testimony, Father, you know them, oh dear Father. They came to edify others and they came to testify. They came to use their words, oh dear Father, to worship you, to say, Father, that you have intervened in their life, oh dear Father, and you're still intervening in their life. Father, my God, oh dear Father, meet their needs, oh dear Father, meet their needs. For for they came to brag on you, Jesus. They came to brag on you, Jesus. Father, they came to put the sukuri katabu. Reward them, oh dear Father. Reward them, oh dear Father. Reward them, oh dear Father. For she called your Father. Reward her, oh dear Father. For kid, oh dear Father. Reward him, oh dear Father. For Sarah, oh dear Father. Reward her, oh dear Father. For Salim, wife, oh dear Father. Reward her, oh dear Father. For Salim, oh dear Father. Reward him, oh dear Father. For Ruth, oh dear Father. Reward him, reward her, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ. For Peter. Oh dear Father, reward her, oh dear Father, my Lord Jesus Christ, for Agnes, oh dear Father, reward her, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ. All those who have given testimony, even Joanne, oh dear Father, reward her, oh dear Father, my God, oh dear Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Reward everyone who have given their testimony. Reward them because they have not been ashamed of you. They are well aware, oh dear Father, to brag on you, Jesus, to brag on you, Father. There is always a reward of bragging upon you, oh dear Father. Father, I bring all those who are joined here in the name of Jesus Christ, even the ones who just joined us, oh dear Father, all of them, Father, that is, oh dear Father, Agnes, Dolika, uh, Kid, Hannah, Joyce, Pamela, Peter, Ruth, Salim, Sarah, Janet, all of them, Father, you know each and every one of them. My God, each and every one of them, they have a need. They have a need, they will have a want, oh dear Father. My God, oh dear Father, I present, oh dear Father, my Lord Jesus Christ, she call, she call. She called your Lord Jesus Christ. You know how, dear Father. Hey, Kiti Boruko Soko Ribati Kalashi. Isa Kavarokoto Kusukuri. She go wherever you are. Lift up your hands. Rekita Roko Soko Ribati Lakase. Iva Reboto Soko Rubati Tikise. E Karaboto Soko Ribati Karaseki. Father, thank you, Jesus, for blessing her. Thank you, Jesus, for opening doors for her. Thank you, Jesus, for making way where there seemed to be no way. Hatare is a king of Raboto Ruku Sukari that she will never lack. Dear Father, thank you for overflowing in Jesus' name. Thank you for overflowing in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, that you always go before how dear Father, making way where there seem to be no way. And the redeemer gets a kibo rosho do kita rakati. He barabo do ko sukurike. Thank you, Father, for enlarging our territories. Thank you, Father, for enlarging our territories. He get the boto roko bo riba tarra kase ki go ko rebo shi. And the redeemer king araboto roko zigedi. He zigedi barakaja boto. 
Rakazaga Revotu, one Zekel Tarese, Kiamoto, Hold Roko Borivata Rekesiki, Hantareti Kimo Roko Suku Revata Rekesikida, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, we bring Agnes, O dear Father, Hereboto Roko to Barakaseke Botoko Rushi, Isaka Revoto Koroso Koribata Rakase, Arakaboto Sokuri, Agnes, touch wherever it is that is hurting, wherever it is that is hurting in your body, any part of your body that is hurting right now tightly touch it right now as we commit all that to god right now hereketi riki saka rabo toso kuribataka hantare se kebo roko su kuribata father you are the hero of your father you are going to take his kimo rekatare si kena rakasi Iva Raboto to Kuruso Koribata Raboto from the top of her head, O dear father, to the bottom of her feet, O dear father. Baragandare Sikina Boto Roko Sukuribata Rebo Rosi, Punta Rakaseke Borubata Rakasi Kibotoko. I speak healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak and miracles and wonders in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tawara my Shayake Baba, Tawara Menendo Yake Baba, Tawara Kira Kitu Jake Baba, Mugu Baba. Ibarakandale Kevo Rukose, Andarango to Rukosu Karaka de Borua, Hermandara Kandre, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you are the healer, you are the deliverer, you are everything, Father, for how your father, she look at light on your father, she look at life, she look everywhere on your father, she does not find any help on your father, but when she look up to you on your father, she sees you, Father, my God, on your father, and a motura gatare sick. Father, breakthroughs. Divine healing in Jesus' name. Divine breakthroughs. Divine healings in the Jeremotorokos. Father, take my faith of your father. And the you're the healer. You're the deliverer, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for healing her. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering her. Thank you, my God, for the In Jesus' name, thank you for giving her the testimony to testify of your goodness and mercy. Thank you, Jesus, oh dear Father, for reversing everything that was roko. Thank you for reversing everything, Jesus. You can have Rukudosu. No one else can do it, but only you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, we bring on your father, Sarah. We bring Sarah, Sarah. We bring Sarah, Sarah. We bring Sarah, Lift up your hand, Sarah. We bring Sarah, press your hands as you see me press my hand on the left side of my of my left side of my lip right now. As I as I press my hand there, kindly follow as you see me do right now. Erekete botu sukuria botu haraka boto ruku sukura boboti hasakudo roko soko ribata hantare boto roko vubada kache borubata hasiki da rakate haburuku soko rikatare isaka jere kisa karaboto roko tukuruba hantare se ke boru soko ribata ra ibare boto soko rukata rakase ebarabo tu sukurba chaja dice que borro cu su bareki aderesi ki borro koto sokuri e borro la casa guerrero cina in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bring, oh dear Father, my God, oh dear Father, Apostle Salim, oh dear Father, and the wife, Apostle Salim. 
and Apostle Salim, Mrs. Apostle Salim, oh dear father, and the children, oh dear father. Erekita rakate boroso korika tereke se kiboroshi. Porekata reke se kiboroko. For all these family, oh dear father, they rejoice in your dear father. Apostle Salim and Levred, uh, uh, Levred Salim, Mrs. Salim, and the children and the family. Father, I bring all of them to your dear father. My God, oh dear Father, Ereke te botoro koso kod butorashi tereke. Hata reke seke botoro seke. They come here with a thankful heart, oh dear Father. Thanking you, oh dear Father. For all reke te seke botoro ko. So they kina rakani. For all those intervening in their life. Thank you, Jesus, for intervening in their life, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing them to be a blessing to many. Harakata re seke botoro ko to vubatiki. Erakata roso kori batareke seke. Hantari ki siki boto roko suku batareke siki boto. Evo roboto riki. Isiki barevoto. For they will never lack, oh dear Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Erekita boto roko suku ribatare. Isiki voru batakare siki boru kushita raka. Voroko so kurikate reki. Evurubata reketi raka seki vorukati. Ikaraboto so kurikati. For you always have an overflow in Jesus' name. Overflow in Jesus' name. For you, when God blesses you, uh, the family of Apostle Salim. Salim, uh, Mr. Salim and Mrs. Salim. When God blesses you, your hands is always open. And when you receive, you allow it, you, Mr. Salim and Mrs. Salim, you allow the Spirit of God and the gift of God to flow through you, to flow through you. And as it flows through you, as what God is showing me, as it flows through you, more is added for you. More is added for you. More is added for you. But when you hold, when you hold what God gives you and hold it and, and close, close your, your fist and you don't allow it to flow through you, then there is no room that you create for another gift to come and flow through you. So this is the word of God it says, keep, keep on opening your hands open your hands open your open your heart open open keep on opening by allowing god to use you 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 as he uses you he froze through you he froze through you his power froze through you to reach the ones who god needs them to be and keta botoso kurikatareke sikibo roko sovoroshi. And so you are you are your cup will never run dry. We we'll always have overflow. We we'll always have overflow. The key of your blessing is to keep open, open blessing to others. As you are blessed, you are a blessing to others. And that's how your blessing will continue remaining open and overflow when you open for others father thank you jesus thank you father father thank you father for restoring this family thank you jesus thank you father for for increasing them thank you father for overflow in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name Father, we bring, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ, Ruth, Ruth Bogwa, oh dear Father, Erekita Raka Seke Boto Kuruba Tilaka Seke Vurushitare, Eseke Boruku Ruku Sekevo. Ruth, kindly press your hands on top of your chest. Erekita Raka Seke Boruko Tariseta, Isikiba Rokoto Botoro Sakarabo Motu, Isakamo Tu Boruku Shati, Ekarabo Tu Ruku Sakarite, Ikabo Botoro Kosubarete, Ivareboto Sukuribataraki, Sekiba Rabotura Katere, Isikibo Rokosu, 
Move your hands to your belly, please. As you see me demonstrate, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Move your hands to the upper part of your of your back, upper back of your back root. Arakate re seke voruku shita raka. Ika revo to roko si karete. Ika boto roko tu baraka shita reke si kavo botola. Hesi kima raka tereke. Tisi kibo roko siki. Iva revo to roko su kurasha talakala. Isi karavo boto soko beta. Isi kavo roko su bore batele kanyi. Ise ke moroko to si bo riba shete. Ika boto soko riba tareke. Inji. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we give glory and honor back to you, Jesus. We give glory and honor back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and honor back to you, Mighty God. Father, we give glory and honor back to you, Jesus Christ. We give glory and honor back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and honor back to you, Mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Papa. We bless you and we honor you, dear Father. Father, we bring Pamela and Preston. Pamela and Preston, Eketibo Rokoto Roseke for Roshi Dele. Father, I bring Preston, Preston, Erekita Rakate Roso Rikate for Roshi. Eseke Preston, kindly press your hand, your light hand. Preston, Preston, press your light hand on top of your chest right now. And I need your left hand to press it on, on, your, uh, on your belly right now as we pray. Preston. This is for Preston. Erekita raka tare siki boruku suba raka vubashi. Isakavo toro ko suba rite. Ikarivu tu suba reka shiti. Eseke moruku suba reke siisha. Ikavoto so koriba tarekesi. Iva reboto su kuriba tishi. Isikivo in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Kindly move your hand. Move your hand on your left shoulder. Your left shoulder, right now, Preston. Move your hand on your left shoulder. Your right hand to be on your left shoulder. Erekita raka shete ve kiboruku shete reka. Ereksinga rabotu. Ese kiboruku manna kete reboto sokuriti. Ese kibaraka seke voruku bariki. Iva reboto sokuri batare. Isi kiboruku shete reki karavo. Iva reke te reki sakariki tiboruko so marakati ke se kiva rebate se. Preston kindly push you to rakase. Move your hands to your head. Uh, on top of your head uh move it um on top of your head but i want you to move it uh from the from your forehead all the way to the back of your head like like you're moving in uh, moving your hands as you see me demonstrate kindly do that as i pray etikita poto sukuribate tikila ivarebo tu sukurika tarishi isakavo poto sukurika tarese kebo ruku sobari kitepo urakate se kebo rubati kala kisi ibareke tisika vopo tu so roko shoti bo roko buriki in jesus name in jesus name move uh touch your toes i need you to touch your toes uh preston both of your toes touch your toes as i touch my own touch it in jesus name for your feet in the name of jesus christ Erikibo ruku soba rikita raka seke. Evurushu bareke. Tisikibo ruseta. Ikibotu kurushita raka. Isikibo rubatare. Kese kima rakachi. Isikibo roko soko rikatare seke. Ikarebo toso kurukusha reke. Ikabata reke kima rakate se. Kima ribo toso. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, Mungu Baba. Tosema ni asanti. Tosema ni asanti kwa kutawala maisha yake, Baba. Kutoka kutoboto kutima na ketebo tu kuruba tese. Kika raboto sokori titekase. Ika boto sokori batarisi. Ika raboto tu kuruba taboto sokori bete. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Papa. We bring, oh dear Father, Pamela. 
Pamera, lift up your hand, Pamera. Ere kita rakati isi ki bo tu ruku subareki. I bo ruku ta reke seke bo ruku shetila. I si ki bo roboto so koreki. Pamera, lift up your hands. I kida bo tu ruku subareka bo. Both of them. Eke tika rakate reksi. I kare bo to so korekati isi. I va re bo tu su kuribata reke si. I va re bo tu ruku su kareke. O va reke ti si ka bo to so bo rikateki. I va re bo to so koreki. Ribatari, eka bobo doko so. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, I bring Pamela's family, oh dear Father. Ika raboto so kori kateshi. Evo ruku se bor katare. Isi ki voroshu. Pamela's family, everyone who is connected to to her, oh dear Father. By by brother, oh dear Father. Ere kita raka te bor roko so kori batesi. I prise kita boto so kori katepo. Everyone who is connected with uh, by Pamela, by Brad, oh dear Father. Ere kete boto so kori kabobo. E si kibo reshe ti la katere si kaboto. I sa kabo tu subareke. I karevo tu su kori kaboto subarakashi. Jesus have mercy on them, oh dear Father. Jesus have mercy on them, oh dear Father. Jesus have mercy on them, oh dear Father. Ere kete botoso kuriabati. He se kebo rukatare. He sa kabobo tu kurebo te la kasaka dere kita resi kemo roshi. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we give glory and honor back to you, Jesus. We give glory and honor back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and honor back to you, Mary God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. To se mani asanti baba to kuskuru bade keni muta rekete vurde kisi. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Father, we bring O dear Father, Oscar, Oscar O dear Father. Erekita raka te boruku suku ribata rekese. Ika raka ta raka se bado kuto robo siki. Father, we bring Oscar. He nere tira kandare se ke bo ruba takati se ki bo rukusu. Endare se ki. Oscar, lift up your hands up right now. He re ki sa kane moto so ko rika bo to su ku riba chiti. I si ki ma rakate re ki na moto ro ko su ku nakati. E si ki bo ruku ta rakase. I va re bo to su ku riti e na. I si ki mo ro ko so bareke. E va rakate se. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, it kita boroko tu sukura kase iwa reboto so from the top of your head e keti siki boro tu be boto boroko sukuri bate se keti da hanta re ke ni karaboto so boroku su asanti baba rokshukur baba mungu baba to samani asanti baba rokshukur maje ke ne boto sukuri ke waya maje te te ke se kina kataboto so kori kibu atgere ke boto ke kina angada ne se henda re ke se ke at the gege monto koge mo e singi mari kenda kanda re singi mare enge na hala lenge si monto ruku se moto iki mana kandele singe moti ngaraga ene moko roge mbo toro monya kanda ke tebo manda kase ke ma hale kende bo ruku songe manya heze ena kandela boto kukudu luka nzalina re enze ke boto inje ke motu vare ke mana kase in Jesus name, in Jesus name, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Father. Father, we bring, oh dear Father, Joyce, Pastor Joyce, oh dear Father. Ere kita rakate boto roso kumane. Ere kita bo boto so oriati. Eke moto rika ajende. E nangete. E tiki moto soke. E bardi boto so vorifo. For Pastor Joyce, oh dear father. And for her family. Oh dear father, for her husband, her children, her ministry. Everyone who is connected to her, oh dear father. Ere ke mandare ke tika raangete. E moto koto soke. Subete, e ki karra ka moto riendare, handare ke nabo, ho bara kandere, he burru karra kandere, ki karra boto so maneki, fa je ke ke boto, he karra ka anga boto, he gete, he si ki karra boba anga dere singe, he ka boto botina, are ke nji bole ke nse ki dara anga na boto ngo bo mani, in Jesus' name, ale ke mboto ngi ke la kandi, hi ka mboto ngo rongu ture si, he bari ka mboto li ke mala kande, e genge mboto, he ngara mboto so mitale, he ke mboto unge, kanda li kenda, inga mboto reke se, 
Kanda poture ke tivare. Halikida potu sengivare. Jesus ke motura fauma. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Father ke te la kase kiborukuta reki. Hande reke botu botu. Isi ki manar akanti. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' holy mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Papa. Father, we bring, oh dear Father, Hannah. Oh dear Lord Jesus Christ, erekita rakate botu sukur kate rekisi. E bata re kenditsi ke vu bateka. E siki boruku tare ikavoto sukurishi. Hana press your hands on on top of your head, but uh, the back of your head, the back of your head. As you see me demonstrate, I'm holding my back of my head kindly. Do as you see me do. Erekita rakate seke vurubushu. Ikaraboto montikasi. Ekalibuto seki. Ah, papa, era kante. For Hana, oh dear father. And her family, oh dear father. Ikareboto soko reki. Ibareke tisa kavo. Ukareke tifo roboto sipe. Etifu barakate re. Ibareboto soko ritatare. Father, you kurukuse vrushate. Ikavo potoso. Open the door so dia eki tiki di kisi kire kita rakaseki. Hannah, press, press your. Uh, I, I want you to move your, your your hands all over your head, all over your head as we pray, as we pray, as we pray. Because uh, God is saying, don't be afraid, don't be anxious, don't be anxious, don't be afraid, don't let stress, don't let stress of every day to overwhelm you. For if you allow it to overwhelm you and you don't uh, and you miss to call upon him and believe that he will intervene in this matter, you will you 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 can end up being in the hospital. You can end up having a, a, something that I don't want to say it. And I I ask you and I urge you right now as we pray, believe that God is doing what you have asked him believe in him for he alone he will make he, he will he will part the path for you to cross you will not know what you will not even know what just happened but you will see yourself all the way you are all the way you have crossed it but you have to believe hannah hannah gicho Please believe. Giriki moto soko reke. Believe, because you are not okay. And just believe. Believe. Believe for for if you don't believe, if you don't believe, the worst will happen. So believe in Jesus, even when you don't see it. Believe. 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 Believe in our, uh, in our Heavenly Father. As we pray, continue touching your, 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 your head all over the place. Erekita poto sukurubushita rakate isikibo rukutikisi. Ivarebo to soko rukutu subarekiti. Isikibo rubate kese. Ivarebo to sukurikatishi. Isikibo ruku subareke. Ivarebo to soko ribata rakase. Ivarebo to kurukushita rakate. Ikarabo to soko ribatisi. Ivarebo to sukuribatiki lakase. Ivarebo remember god is the one who does the miracles and wonders and when he does give you a testimony go and share it and brag on him don't forget to come and give testimony don't forget to come and brag him brag on him because he is the one who has done it for you Ikarabo toso kuribateke, isiki vorushuti kirakase, ivarebo to rukusu deki, ikarabo to sokoriki. For he is the one who is winning the battle for you, not for your strength. 
It's not by your strength that you will make it. It's not by your sight that you will make it. It's not by your power that you will make it. But it's by the power of the Most High God, our Heavenly Father, has made you to make it. To make it, not by your strength, but His power. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, we bring, oh dear Father, my God, oh dear Father. We bring all your children. We bring all your children, oh dear Father. We bring also, my God, oh dear Father. Kid, oh dear Father, my Lord Jesus Christ. Erikita rakase kid kid we bring kid Erikita rakate boto soku rikata vupati isi kivo rukushu barakate isi kabo toro kobo tu super ekenti isi kivo rushe talaka seke boti buni iva reboto soko ribatale kesi in Jesus name in Jesus name Father we bring Joan Zimunya we bring Joan Zimunya Erikita rakati vo rushubati eseke vo rubati laka seki mo rushinda ereke mo doko boti laka in jesus name in jesus name father we bring all your children uh janet oh dear father erikida kaseki rakaboto janet uh, not not janet uh agnes agnes kindly press your hands on your on your eyes press your hands on your eyes right now as we pray for for you erekita but as you see me do kindly follow as you see me do erekita rakase kivo rukushiti lakatebo urikata rivo shubare ikaboto sobu rukushu Father, you're the one who created these eyes. You're the one who created how, oh dear Father. My God, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ, you make everything new together. For your glory, Father. For your glory, Father. In Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give glory and honor back to Jesus. We give glory and honor back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and honor back to you, Mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, I bring all your children, oh dear Father, my God. Janet, oh dear Father, kid, uh, Sarah, oh dear Father, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Salim, Ruth, Peter, uh, Pamela and Preston, Oscar, Joyce and the family, Hannah, Dorica and Agnes. All of these, oh dear Father, are your children. Father, I commit all of them to your mighty hand, for you are the one who knows them. You are the one, oh dear Father, who called them. They came to worship you. They came to brag on you, oh dear Father. They came to, to testify of your goodness, oh dear Father. As they testified, oh dear Father, may you continue enlargening their territories. Continue enlargening their territories. Continue enlargening their territories, oh dear Father. And everything that they do, oh dear Father, be there for them, oh dear Father. Every step they make, oh dear Father, make it with them, oh dear Father. Father, we bring all ministers all over the world. Whether we know those ministers or we don't know them, Father. My God, we know that you created them. And we know that, Father, you sent them to go and 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 spread the word, uh, your word, oh dear Father, and win souls for you, Father, wherever they may be, oh dear Father, and they are calling upon you, Jesus, to help them in the work that you call them to do. Mighty God, oh dear Father, may you be with them, guide them, help them, oh dear Father, in their ministry, oh dear Father, in their family, oh dear Father, in their ministry, oh dear Father, in their own strength, oh dear Father, my God, my Lord Jesus Christ, help them, remind them, oh dear Father, that it is through you, Jesus, that they are well able to do the 
the mighty things that they are doing. Oh, Father, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. So, Father, we thank you, Jesus, for ministering to your ministers in Jesus' name. Father, we bring all those who are sick, oh, dear Father, whether they are among us here, oh, dear Father, whether they are listening to these prayers as recorded or live, oh, dear Father, and they require and need healing from uh, whether they are requiring healing for themselves or their family members or their father my lord jesus Christ, whether we uh, they are joined here or not or their father my god but they're calling upon you jesus they're calling upon you jesus father we ask you dear father to heal them oh dear father and those who need deliverance oh dear father my god deliver them oh dear lord jesus Christ those who are seeking for miracles and wonders father give them all those things that they are seeking oh dear father for you are the one who give all those uh healing all those deliverance all those miracles and wonders oh dear father to glorify yourself oh dear father my god oh dear father intervene in their life oh dear father give them the healing oh dear father they seek oh dear father give them the deliverance they seek in the name of jesus christ give them the miracles and wonders they seek in jesus name father give Give them, oh dear Father. Provide unto them, oh dear Father. Because, oh dear Father, you say that we seek and we shall fight. Knock and the door will be open unto us, oh Father. And ask and it shall be answered. Father, we have seek, we have asked, we have knocked the door, dear Father. We want to thank you, Jesus, for opening the doors for each and every one of us. Thank you, Jesus, for answering our prayer. And thank you, Father, for allowing us to, to fight what we were once seeking, oh dear Father. We thank you and we magnify your name we bless your name oh dear father thank you jesus for renewing each and every one of us thank you for transforming each and every one of us for your glory for your glory we bless you father even for waking us up oh dear father this day and keeping us alive even at this time oh dear father in the evening whatever time zone we are all connected i thank you jesus oh dear father for all that you're doing oh dear father miracle wonder oh reketi see miracle worker oh dear father my god you are the only miracle worker father we thank you we bless you father for others who wanted to see this moment but they have departed but father as we are taking this opportunity to praise you father to thank you father that we are still alive oh dear father to thank you jesus because only the, uh, the people who are alive uh, can worship you but the dead cannot worship you but us who are alive we are taking this opportunity to worship you to thank you father for your glory we thank you jesus we magnify your name thank you jesus for always being here with us thank you for beginning this service with us thank you for being with us even now oh dear father and even when we depart oh dear father my god you will be with us oh dear father others will be going to bed oh dear fathers others will be beginning their day others will be doing so and so oh dear father my god oh dear father may you be with us so as we can continue rejoicing in you for your glory for your glory oh lord jesus christ we thank you father and we magnify your name for it's in jesus name for it's in jesus name for it's in jesus holy mighty name we pray and believe amen 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 our father who art in heaven holy be thy name thy kingdom come that will be done on others in heaven give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins and see forgive those who sin against us lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil for thy the kingdom the power the glory are all yours now and forevermore amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now now and forevermore amen 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 pastor peter please uh, thank you so much for that uh, wonderful uh, presentation and now uh, we are going to go straight to the admin update. Welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. My name is Sarah, and thank you so much for joining us today. I'm one of the admins on this uh, ministry. And the same link that you used to join today, use that same link to join. We meet, we meet every single day, uh, Monday through Saturday is the same time. And then Saturday, Sunday is a slightly different time. So thank you so, so much for joining us. Uh, 
uh, today's announcement, I actually wanted to highlight that the time changed for those in, the, in Europe, and I put the link on the chat. So for those in Europe, uh, you meet now one hour. I'll, uh, so you extended the, the, the clock one hour. So instead of meeting, the time you're meeting, so extend it one hour ahead. Uh, so in in honor of the time save, uh, daylight saving hours. So those in Europe uh, will meet one hour after the times that, that we have always met. And then I um, also wanted to highlight that we do have mission trips that uh, that is coming up. So the next mission trip is in July of this year. And in that effort, we are also seeking funds to support that journey. And uh, we'll be traveling uh, from the US. It will start in Texas, here in the US, and then go into Oregon. And then from Oregon, it will be in Z uh, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Malawi, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda. And then from once we finish up, we wrap up in, uh, in Uganda, then we'll come back to the US. Again, this will be in the US territories. It will be this year in July. And uh, the, we do have several ways to give uh, in octaves and offerings, and also donating to the, the mission trips. So you can either give through Zelle, M-Pesa, Cash App, PayPal, or GoFundMe. And before this end of the meeting, I'll, I'll post, uh, try to post the, the, the numbers that you need to send through Zelle, and pesa Cash App, PayPal, or GoFundMe. And uh, so with that, I think I've covered, oh, let me actually go through those who have given uh, the last couple of days. Uh, thank you. Let me give a, a few minutes to acknowledge that. Uh, the ones who have given in the last one week, and that's Ruth Bogwa in Kenya. Thank you. You have given through M-Pesa. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, Miriam Toto uh, has given through M-Pesa. Thank you, Miriam. And Sarah in Maryland through Zell. Thank you, Sarah. And uh, I'll leave you with the words of uh, Luke 6.38. And uh, it reads, give, and it will be given to you. A good measure pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you give, it will be measured to you. So let's continue to support this ministry uh, and this prophet of God that God has given us. Um, as she continues to do this work of God, it's not an easy, an easy work, uh, but we're truly here to support her because we, we, we come here seeking the uh, God was seeking the prayers, and, and I know many, all of us have been blessed. So in that, uh, let's also be a blessing into her life and into this ministry. And with that, I will turn it over to you, uh, Pastor Peter, to pray for the tithes and the offerings. Thank you. Thank you so much for that admin update. Um, just a reminder, like, like we said yesterday, remember to bring somebody, remember to give the, the link uh, to enter the prayer line uh just, just somebody just be the be the one to, be able to get somebody some friend some enemy um let, let them also come and get what you're getting let them be blessed like you okay you're, you're being blessed let them be delivered like you're being delivered see so that it doesn't appear to be just selfish we're seeing the same face every day every day every day we need to see an increase we need to see new faces and that kind of thing that's the way the lord wants it so let, let's not uh, just be stagnant, just like, like that. It's not. It's not right. Just try the best you can. You have so many people surrounding you. Your workmates. Your, I mean, so so many, so many people. Your friends and and many other people you, that you meet with. Just uh, introduce the Lord Jesus Christ that way. Tell them there is a prayer line that's so wonderful, and it's how uh, we have uh, we have people there who are ministering to us. We also have a prophet there who will pray for you and all your needs and somebody you never know what they're suffering from you never know what, what, what is it maybe they are just not saying it see there could be something so just bring them over and then uh, let us worship together with them just try all you can and uh, and do that and again you know selfishness is not it's not godliness it doesn't go with godliness it's, he wants us to be selfless as selfless as we can don't mind about the ones who you tell and then they'll just drag you off and they'll tell ah, 
those those online things are fake and uh, you know there there will be always those kind of people who who brush you off and and dismiss the whole thing and you just go to the next one and the next one and the next one one of them would agree and would join in and then we'll be blessed all right let's uh let us pray for the prayer for the tithes and offerings uh and then after that i'll, I'll pass it on to Mateo for the ironic blessing uh close your eyes in reverence and humility to the almighty god our dear heavenly father in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ to graciously come before be humbling ourselves completely lord jesus christ into nothingness lord jesus christ we do recognize our greatness heavenly father we do recognize our realness dear lord you are the other word the father lord jesus christ we are the clay heavenly father may you mold us may you continue molding us heavenly father molding us and shaping us so heavenly father into the kind of vessels that you can put into good use heavenly father dear for god and then may you pour out ourselves in us oh heavenly father for you said i'll pour out my spirit upon our flesh heavenly father we know that you mean what you say dear lord you are not like a human being who is who says one thing today and tomorrow they saying another you what you say you mean it and you well, go ahead and do it dear lord we need more of you, Lord Jesus Christ. Take away more of us, Heavenly Father, and give us more of you, dear Lord, that we go on becoming like you, dear Lord. We want to speak like you. We want to walk like you. We want to preach like you. We want to have the same thing. So we want to have your nature, Heavenly Father. Take out this sinful human nature out of us, Heavenly Father, and give us thou divine nature, dear Lord, that, oh, Heavenly Father, we may be like you. We may be in you and you in us. And that day we'll know that I'm in the, uh, that I'm in the, fun, the Father is in me, I in you and you in me. If you abide in me and my word abides in you, you shall ask what you desire and it shall be granted unto you. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, I will do it. Dear Lord, these are your sweet words, Heavenly Father, in the book of John. Heavenly Father, may you grant it this year, Lord. May you bring it to us, Heavenly Father. We know that your own appointed time, Lord, to each and every one of us, dear Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your goodness, for your mercy. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the many things that you've done for us. Thank you for the deliverances that you've done. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the overflows. Thank you for the breakthroughs. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for all those things that you've given unto us, dear Lord, today. We praise you. We honor you, Jehovah God. And even now, as we now go to various other places, dear Lord, we are committing our lives unto thee, dear Lord. Take the rulership, dear Lord. Take the take the, the preeminence, Heavenly Father. Take the, take the Lordship of our lives, dear Lord. Be the, for we are dependent fully on you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are like sheep, oh Jehovah God, that has to be led. And we want to be led of thee, dear Lord. We don't want to lead ourselves, dear Lord. For if we lead ourselves, we'll go into the ditch, Heavenly Father. And then we start again crying unto you all. All of our gain, dear Lord. Heavenly Father, we are calling upon thee as yes, our good shepherd, dear Lord, to lead us. You will lead us into, into greener pastures. You will lead us into the paths of righteousness for your own sake. You will lead us, Heavenly Father, Jehovah God. We want to be led of thee. We thank you. We praise you. We honor you. For it's in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Mateos, please. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are around the globe. First of all, I want to say thank you to all the people that joined us. We really appreciate it. We do not take it for granted. And also I want to say thank you so much for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. I do not take it for granted. I want to take this time to bless you as you enjoy this Resurrection Sunday for Yeshua, Jesus of what he has done for us today the aaronic blessing from numbers 6 24 through 26 in hebrew italian spanish english with uh, god is so good in korean and english with the quotation of number 6 24 to 26 with the conclusion of the shofar it is all for the glory of yeshua I encourage you, as I do the Arnic blessing, to lift up your hands, raise your hands as I do the Arnic blessing. It is all for the glory of Elohim, Baruch Haba, and Yeshua. 
Yevarecha Adonai da Yishmarecha Ya Er Adonai Padunav Elecha de Unecha Yesa Adonai Panavelecha Eyasim Lecha Shalom Eyasim Lecha Shalom Dio te protega y benedica, que expenderio silvote, suete a la gracia, suate, borga y sio, so guado, pacheti dia, pacheti dia, Dios te guarde y bendiga. Que extienda su amor y muestre favor. Dios te mire con agrado y te dé paz. Y te dé paz. Y te dé paz. The Lord bless you and keep you. Lord make his face shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And give you peace. Johusin Hananim. Johusin Hananim. Chan jo sing na e God is so good God is so good God is so good He is so good to me Repeat after me The Lord bless you The Lord bless me The Lord bless me, Lord bless me. And keep you. And, and keep, keep me. me. Keep me. The Lord his face shine upon you. That is the Lord make his face shine upon me. And be gracious unto you. And be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. The Lord, the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. And give you peace. Glory to God, glory to us. Glory to God, glory to God in presence of Jesus. No, this is for the Queen Baruch Haba. Do not forget, Ben David, Jesus of Nazareth, son of David. With now, with the conclusion of the shofar, to declare victory every day. Shalom. Shalom. Yesun Nibana. Shalom. Amen. For you today, in the name of Yeshua, Amen. Shalom. 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 Amen. Shalom. Amen. Bye. Love you. Love you. Bye. Ram, see you tomorrow. Sharam. Sharam, everyone. See you tomorrow. Same time. Not the same time. Tomorrow we are meeting at uh, Ari, Aria. So, hope to see you tomorrow. May peace of God be with you. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen.
שלום.